and Morning Zimpar 1 is complete a pretty easy quest if you don't have to go get that barrel of naphtha for the second time if you i highly recommend if you're watching this and you haven't done regicide yet and you still need to to get two barrels of naphtha when you do that quest so you don't have to go through the uh the whole elven lands again very annoying but there we go morning zempar one complete two quest points uh 2500 20, 20 oh my god twenty five thousand hit points twenty five thousand thieving that is awesome i think that's one level maybe but no hit points level but still yeah there we go 55 thieving can now pick by Knights of Artie and Bandits. Pretty cool. And really close to 56 thieving. And uh, yeah, there we go. Quest complete. 234 quest points. This tree will get us 45 farming, which is the level we need to grow maple trees. And I think it's for a quest. Is it Grim Tales? Yes, Grim Tales. All we need now is 58 thieving, and we can finally complete that quest. And after spamming these knights for quite some time, we're going to get 58 thieving, which is the level we need for the Grim Tales quest. So that is all out of the way. Knights of Artie is actually. Pretty AFK, pretty good money. You do get caught a lot though, but uh, yeah, we finished. All right, so I'm just gonna commentate over this part because I did not record myself while actually doing this. I pretty much finished off a bunch of the easy and medium achievement diaries. I didn't, well, not a bunch of them, but I finished off many of the easy achievement diaries. I could pretty much have the requirements for all of them, actually, I believe. At my level, you should be able to do all the achievement diaries, the easy and most of the medium ones. I just hadn't done them yet, mainly because I was a bit lazy. And then I realized that you get XP lamps for them and the, the items you get, are actually very useful as well. So I spent a couple hours and got things like the Falador, Western Provinces, Relica, Lumbridge and Drainer, uh, Varrock. I got a bunch of those achievement diaries done and I got a bunch of upgrades to certain items I had, like the achievement diary items, and I also got a bunch of XP lamps. Now these XP lamps, I used all on Herblore. Oh, by the way, Herblore, Herblore. Everybody's saying Herblore, but I don't even want to start that discussion. Anyways, I used them all in Herblore because I needed to get my Herblore level up uh, for some quests because I needed to boost. I think it was Fairy Tale Part 2 was the quest I needed to boost up to. So what I did was I got all of them done. Well, not all of them, but most of them done. And I got a bunch of XP lines from it. So if you guys are ever looking for some free XP and you're a medium to high level, do the achievement diaries if you haven't done them yet because you get some nice XP lines from it and some nice rewards. Okay. Go bow. Go bow. Go bow. So good. Oh, yes. 53 Herblore. Can I make Hunter Potions? Boom. Boom. Oh, that was amazing. 54 Herblore. Can now clean Quorum. Oh, my God. That's a really good clue. <laughs> Bando's Cloak. I'm pretty sure I need that for a clue at some point. I didn't expect that. Didn't these used to be like mills? Bando's Cloak. Nice. That's a good clue, man. The quest was a lot faster than I thought. Requirements sort of suck, but we finished Fairy Tale Part 2. Here we go. 236 quest points. 3500 Herblore, 2500 Thieving, and use of the fairy rings, obviously, and the skill lamp. So let's use it on Herblore. As usual, how many points? 2500. Doesn't really get us anything. Anyways, quest complete. All right, so I just finished getting all the Arceus favor that I need to use the Necromancy Spellbook. Got a bunch of Dark Manuscripts, which gave me these reward XP tomes and stuff like that. Those that the librarians give you. So I'm going to use all of these on runecrafting. Hopefully it will get me a level or two, but I can just pretty much click them and spam runecrafting like I am right now. And uh, we'll see how many levels it gets me. All right, so it turns out it's just going to get me one runecrafting level. And I'm about three-fourths, in between a half and three-fourths. What is that? Two-thirds? I'm like two-thirds the way to the next level, but we can finally use the Necromancy Spellbook, which is pretty awesome. All right, guys, and there is the Necromancy Spellbook for the first time on this account. And this is a pretty big deal because I now have access to every skill book or skill, yeah, skill, no, magic, spellbook, spellbook, not skill book, spellbook on old school, which is pretty amazing. And what I'm going to do with the spellbook is train my prayer because I have a bunch of insult heads from Slayer and just from killing things randomly. And I'm going to hopefully get 50 prayer for the Barrel Chest Anchor Quest, which is the next one I have up on the list. So starting at 47, let's see how many levels I get off these heads. All right, turns out we just had enough for 50 prayer. There we go. Those XP drops look amazing. I got to tell you, insult heads are amazing low prayer training method for lower levels. Anyways, 50 prayer. We can now bless holy symbols, which is the exact thing we need for the what is it? Great Brain Robbery Quest. But uh, yeah, and we also got a combat level off this. We hit level 85 combat, which means we can also do the Dream Mentor Quest. So things are slowly falling into place with my account. We're getting all these uh, requirements out of the way. The only big ones we have left really are two for Morning Zen Part 2. No, Monkey Madness 2. We can do Morning Zen Part 2, but uh, that's a whole new beast. So, oh, because I have to get those 50 items for the Death Talisman. I just, I'm not looking forward to that. We did it, boys. Look at this boss fight. So easy. 
Safe spots are a beautiful thing, aren't they? <laughs> See you later, bro. All right, do I, he dropped something, right? I get, his, I get his anchor. That's it then? Oh, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> it, it decreased in size quite a bit, didn't it? Once you pick up the anchor and walk it back to the windmill. Hey. Hey, just end the quest. I know. There it is. Hey, great brain rob great brain robbery. Man, it's finally complete. Barrel just anchor, blessed lamp, and 6k prayer, 2k construction, and 3,000 crafting XP. Very nice. Any levels? Probably one level, right? Wow, that's majorly disappointing. I hate that. Anyways, let's use this on Herblore. Won't get us a level, but it'll get us close to 55. And uh, yeah, there we go. 238 quest points. Are you kidding me? That was the fight? That was the fight? What is this? Uncut Sapphire? Golden Goblin? A watering can? Alright guys, we're about to finish Grim Tales. Pretty easy quest. I really didn't mind doing this one. The requirements sort of suck for this, but... Once you do it, the quest itself isn't that hard. Pretty cool animation, chopped down the beanstalk. The fight itself wasn't that bad either. But this should give us the rewards now. Or we might have to actually go talk to Silas. Just kidding, one sec. Talk to Silas. It's done. And the reward is happening right please just make it pop up there we go one quest point 4k farming 5k herblore 55 herblore 5k hit points 14,000 wood cutting xp and 6k agility and thieving should give us a couple levels 47 farming perfect we can now grow watermelons 55 herblore strength potions that's amazing and there we go 300 or er, 239 quest points and there we have it, guys. The seventh to last quest is complete on the account. Karis, one quest point. Contact is the quest, by the way. Uh, by the way, look at this, actually. In the quest log, it says contact with an exclamation mark. In here, it's a period. Jagex? That's unplayable. That's actually unbelievable. Anyways, 7k thieving and two wishes granting 7k combat-related XP. So, And there's also a bank down here that I can now use, which could be useful in the future. But this combat lamp... Can we use it? Wow, we can't use it on prayer or magic. That's just what our range. What's the point? What's the point? Just kidding. So I just had to click uh, another wish and range and magic pop up. So we're actually going to do ranged. I probably should do magic because it'll save me uh, some runes. But screw it, we'll do range. Not going to get us a level, but it's something. 14k XP. God, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, but there we go, quest complete, and we have the Karis now. Okay, so after the long and grueling process, we managed to get 100% favor at Taibo Wanai, which I think we needed for the My Arms Big Adventure quest. So yeah, we finally got that out of the way, and we can uh, do the quest, which should have been done a long time ago. Alright guys, so a lot more progress complete in this video. I'm actually getting insanely close. Take a look at this, 240 quest points, okay? We're in the final second digit number, if you know what I mean. Like, 250 is technically, 251 is the final, 240 is so close, I can't believe it. So this is all green now, look how green it is. It's like a garden, man. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can do this one, I can do this one, I can do this one, three, uh, I can do this one, four. I can't do Devious Minds yet, and I can't do uh, Morning Monkey Madness too. So I still need to do the requirements for two of those. I need 50 room crafting, which I have the pure essence for. I can do that pretty easily. I also need 65 smithing, so 11 smithing levels. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm wondering if I might go back to Motherload and get ores, and then maybe just... I don't even know. Just go back to... What do you guys think I should do for smithing? I'm guessing that Blast Furnace might be the best thing for me, because I can actually make money off that, too, with my steel bars. Turn them into play potties, out them, because my cash stack is, is devastated at the moment. I have 9.2k in my cash stack. It's pretty pathetic. But guys, we're getting really close, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the day that I hopefully get the quest cape. So, along with getting a better cash stack, I also am thinking about just staying here until 70 range. I'm only 63. I think wearing black dehyde for future quests is going to be very, very useful, especially for Dream Mentor and especially for Monkey Madness too. So, I think I'm just going to AFK here bandits. If there's a better way to train range on an Iron Man, then let me know. This is the, I, I just sort of copied a friend because he came here on his Iron Man, and it seems like it's pretty good XP. I'm sort of AFK and chilling. I just have um, thousands of trout and salmon that I caught and cooked back in the day I'm using here. But uh, I'm only 63. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but I'm guessing it might be okay. But yeah, 70 range is what I want next because I do have full black dehyde in the bank, which I can wear because I'm tired of wearing the green dehyde and the blue dehyde. It's a little bit embarrassing. But 1410 total, guys. 
And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Sorry for the little bit longer talk here at the end, but just want to let you guys know my thoughts on the account so far. And if you guys have any tips for me, please let me know below. Also, I do have a non-hardcore man video coming out this weekend for you guys who are wondering, uh, since I've been putting these out pretty frequently. There's just a lot I've been doing. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with the account, so that's why there's a lot of this coming out. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Have a good one, and peace. Wow.